welcome to the first, the first edition. First time ever. Of Happy Hour. Happy Hour. With Pop Drunk. Um, this is going to be our new time slot, guys. Uh, every Thursday at Happy Hour, sometime between uh, 4 and 6 p.m. We're going to come to you every single week. Yes. On time. Yes, so now you can plan your life around us. Don't do that. Don't. I promise <laughs> you, you'll be disappointed. Well, hopefully, though, you will be ready to drink with us every Thursday. And if not, you can wait till the weekend and drink with us, too. I'm all right with that. <laughs> so, guys, first episode of Happy Hour with Pop Drunk. We got a table full of boxes, and we got something else that's, like, really, really cool. It's, it's like, it may be one of the coolest things ever obtained. <laughs> All right, so, um, this past weekend, mm -hmm. uh, we were at Average Joe's Above Average Toy Show yes. uh, in Lebanon, Ohio, where we sold a bunch of pops. We bought a few pops, but we got to hang out with awesome people from the Funko community. Yes. People that... It, guys, it still blows my mind. We're over a thousand subscribers, and the fact that people walk up to us and are like, Hey, we watch your videos. You're super awesome. Yeah. Uh, still blows my mind. So we got to meet a lot of awesome people from the community, people from the Funko Collector Society. Make sure you follow the Funko Collector Society on Instagram, and then follow everybody that's in the Funko Collector Society as well. Um, but while we were there, this awesome couple that... Uh, that is actually fairly local to us. I've known them for years, actually. Um, but they are super awesome people. And they love the show. And they love Pops. And they got us the coolest gift anybody could ask for. Bro. And you're, you see the top of it. Bro. You already see the top of it. This is from Bill and Shannon. Um, look at this thing. It's a Tommy gun. <laughs> it is a Tommy gun. Filled oh, with vodka. vodka. It is completely filled with vodka. And it's super Dude. awesome. And the greatest thing ever, forever ago at the liquor store, we came across <laughs> it. We're like, we're going to have to get that one day. Now we so have to. we are going to have an episode where we drink from the Tommy gun. I don't know when that's going to be. Bill, Shannon, you guys are super awesome. You guys are awesome. And even better, though, it's not just like they walked up and like, here's some booze. No, <laughs> it was wrapped in a huge box. Like it was Christmas Giggity. morning. <laughs> and they got us so up. This is so cool, guys. Dude. I'm telling you. Look at this thing. I I, I, I want to show it. And it's so cool. <laughs> it is so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is fantastic. And Heather has already decided that once we're done drinking out of this, she wants to make sand art with it. <laughs> because that's what adults do. So thank you so much, uh, Bill and Shannon. So nice super of you guys. Awesome. So super cool. Um, wow. I will put Bill and or Shannon's Instagram somewhere around here so you can Ooh. follow them on Instagram and give them a thank you for us. Yeah. So, all but, right. And this so past cool. weekend, there were like... We got pictures with people. We I met. know, so I cool. I was so excited. Like, everyone was so nice, too. All right. We, Everybody was nice. You guys are all nice. You guys yeah, are all awesome. Yeah. There's over a thousand of you that subscribe to us. I cannot believe that. I can't believe it so much yes. that we're going to have this grand giveaway. Um, we're actually going to announce all the details next Thursday. But here's the idea, guys. Okay. Here's my thought. I'm not going to tell people what we're giving away. Ooh. We love mystery boxes. Yes. So I think we're going to give one awesome subscriber out there one hell of a mystery box from a, us. A pop drunk mystery box. That's right. You don't have to pay for it. All you got to do is subscribe and maybe some other stipulations to make I it like fun. It. But we'll talk about like that it. next week uh, on Happy Hour with Pop Drunk. So... But we do have some other stuff. Table full of boxes. You know that we do. But before we get to it all, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. Comment below with anything. Really, I don't care. Um, something to keep us entertained through the day. Um, but also follow us on Instagram. And you can follow us on Instagram at... Pop underscore drunk underscore. And to go along with that, now you can also follow us on Twitter, which you can follow us at... Pop underscore drunk underscore that's right so um uh, before we get to the mystery boxes yes um uh, we went to that toy show 
And my goal at the toy show, our goal, yes. our goal at the toy show yes. was to sell. Our, our. Um, it was not to buy. And if you guys have watched our videos for a long time or follow us on Instagram mm -hmm. or anything like that, I'm not a fan of selling. I am a fan of buying and I'm a fan of hoarding. So you're doing a good <laughs> job. But the fact of the matter is there are some serious mega grails that I would like to obtain. Mm -hmm. And uh, mega super grails. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And so Heather, um, she ain't gonna play that game. So I had to sell a bunch of stuff <laughs> and so that I could get the money to obtain these super mega grails. Yes. And I did, and I have, and I'm looking now. Adulting. So but the goal wasn't to buy, but I bought a couple things. Yeah, you know, you know. certain things, you know, <laughs> you, you cross your path, you're like, oh. Right? So the things that I did pick up are Bebop and Rocksteady from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are uh, super cool pops. They're not in perfect condition, but I got a hell of a deal on them, so I can't be too mad. Bebop and Rocksteady uh, completes the, at least the common-ish versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because you start talking about the San Diego Comic-Con What, Comic -Con what ones. years were those? Cause I know those um, were these were 2014. Okay. 2014. So, uh, there was actually a guy there. Yes. He yes. had three of the four mm -hmm. San Diego Comic-Con metallic Ninja Turtles. And Ed was that close. Oh, I was so close. But then Heather was like... <laughs> But they're missing one, and how hard is it, though, yes. to search for that one item? Exactly. So I didn't pull the trigger, but I was very close. I had the money in my hand, and then I was like, I'm going to pass. I'm going to okay. pass. So, <laughs> but I got a couple mail calls here. We talked about them on the last video. Uh, just some just some little stuff from uh, from Funko, from the Funko shop, guys. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but lately... I have really enjoyed the stuff that has come from the Funko shop. Which means Heather has not, because <laughs> that means that Ed's like clicking up. I gotta get it. Gotta get it, right? They're all like add icons and <laughs> All right. So, speaking of the devil. Speak of the devil and he appears. It's always add icon season ah, at the pop drunk house. That guy. <laughs> Milton the toaster. Uh, the Pop Tarts ad icon. Right. Um, Heather's gonna gloat because you know if you've watched our previous videos. Yeah. I say you don't toast Pop Tarts, and Heather says you do. And, and this just proves me right. <laughs> what is in that toaster? Pop Tarts. All right. So Milton, welcome to the ad icon collection, brother. I'm gonna sit you right over here. Uh... <laughs> And also, um, happy late Valentine's Day to everybody. Yes. And um, if you had a uh, special ordeal of such or got a super awesome gift, let us know. Well, see, it's funny because um, we actually filmed a video on Valentine's Day. Yes. It's uploading as we speak. Um, so it'll be up tonight slash tomorrow morning. Um, and we asked them to do the same thing. So you don't have to tell us the same story twice. <laughs> uh, but our Valentine's Day was awesome. And if you haven't watched the previous video, go watch it and we'll tell you how awesome it was. So this is from one of my new favorite lines, the Pops Myths line. Yes, I like these. <laughs> this is the gnome, the gnome. The gnome. The gnome from Funko Shop. Yeah. Um, could have been an ad icon. Could have been like the, what is it, the Travelocity gnome. Yes. <laughs> but it is not. It is the Myths gnome. There's going to be, I hope, I hope they don't drop the ball on this. Uh, I know they're doing kind of like cutesy things. Yeah. Uh, like the gnome Loch Ness monster really was cute. really cute. cute. So yeah. was the chupacabra. Um, but I hope they kind of, I hope they take There's a, a, lot of a turn, you know? myths out there. That like, I, like what? the Mothman. Oh, why is there not a Mothman? I for, love the Mothman. For technicality's sake, yes. there is a Mothman pop. Okay. But it is from a video game, ah. Mothman. Uh, but like the Jersey Devil and... Uh, we already got the Bigfoot. Yeah. You know, things like that. So but I'm really excited for this yeah. line. I hope it continues. Yes. Little known fact is uh, I like gnomes and there are currently two in the yard. We have <laughs> Jareth the gnome mm -hmm. and then we have David the gnome. 
Really? You named him Jareth and David? Yes. Huh. David Didn't for that. that old school, you know, childhoodness, and Jareth from um, the Labyrinth. That was a cartoon, wasn't it? Yeah. David, David the, the gnome. gnome. All right. I, I always say gnome because yes. it's just there. It's like a knife. So if you remember David the Gnome as a child, Comment let below. us know. Comment below. That's how old we are. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into all these guys, again, always thank you. You're the best. It still blows my mind. I just, I know I repeat myself a lot when it comes yeah. to saying stuff like that, and so does Heather. But the fact of the matter is, guys, it blows our minds. It, it really does. So thank you. We're going to do that awesome giveaway, which we're going to announce next week. Um, but now on to the good stuff. Yeah. So now this, these are six mystery boxes oh. from a company that we haven't really had any mystery boxes from lately right but one of our favorites for sure it's our absolute favorite it you know last episode we we steered from the beaten path yes um we we went a little you know over here we, we had to we got <laughs> some great mystery boxes from like captain pops um funko hunter 718 from instagram uh spastic pops yep. Um, uh, so many, and I'm sorry if I forgot you and we opened your mystery boxes. Um, uh, last one we did Plastic Empire, and I'm not gonna lie, like, those were probably, like, my least favorite yeah. that I mean, we've we, done. We definitely didn't have them, because they were just definitely <laughs> Yeah, they thing. were, like, you know, mystery boxes are created so that companies can kind of liquidate their inventory. Mm -hmm. That is the nature of the game. Yeah. And I will never complain about the pops that I get from mystery boxes like i'm just not that guy but those were they weren't even like it's not that they were cheap common pops they were trash cheap common pops so uh i don't know if we're gonna get anything yeah. from plastic empire again because uh from talking in the community after we opened them that sounds to be kind of their thing so and like i said it was all games <laughs> like you gotta give me variety yes yeah, so uh we're back we're back to what we love, and that is Chrono Toys. Make sure you follow them on Instagram at chronotoys.official. Make sure you go to their website, chronotoys.com. Every Monday, they release the weekly Challenger mystery boxes for only $10.99. And it's what it is, guys. It's exactly what I just discussed. It is, it is a liquidation of inventory, which is super cool. Um, but they do throw some grails out there that you have a very small chance of obtaining but we've actually obtained those on occasion. Yes. So I'm not even mad at them. Chrono Toys' variety is is Absolutely. perfect. Yes. And the thing is, too, it's just like playing the lottery. Somebody has to win. That's right. That's right. Might as well be you. Exactly. So make sure you go out to Chrono Toys. This is not a paid sponsorship. I give Chrono Toys money every week, and it's because of my decision, not because of anybody like else's. Em. They're awesome. Follow Chrono Toys. Um, our cat just, like, jumped up over here. So, um, but... These are the Weekly Challenger 1099 Mystery Boxes from Chrono Toys. Heather's bringing over Gizmo. Oh, so she's that... the real fat one. <laughs> Say hi, Gizmo. She's like, put me down. <laughs> oh. oh, she's so fat. Oh, my God. Uh, so, these are the 1099 Mystery Boxes. Every Monday they put them out. Usually around 3 p.m. Eastern, which is noon Pacific time, which is where they're located in California. Pacific. <laughs> Sorry. I can always, I just cannot not do that. <laughs> Give them the rules. Okay, so if you have tuned in before, or if this is your first time, welcome, and this is how we play the game. So if we pull something we already have, if we pull damaged, or we pull anime. That damn Vegeta. <laughs> then you have to take a shot. That's well, right. We have to take a shot. You can play along if you are 21 and over in the States, or 19 and over in other countries, or whatever. Do you. And we also play Mystery Booze, guys. We got a bucket here of booze. Yes, it's still Christmassy. It's still it, Christmassy. It's still winter out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you guys live, but this has been one of the most pain-in-the-ass winters I've dealt with in a long time here in northern Kentucky. It's just so. like one day it's 60 degrees, but it's raining, and then the next day it's 20 and everything's frozen. Yes. Legit. That is every single day. But we're almost there because uh, Paw Tucket Pat, I think that's his, no, Puck, Puck's a Tony. Why did I say Paul Tuckett? I was thinking of Family Guy. Puxatawney Phil. Phil. There you go. Yes. Saw his shadow. So we're going to get some spring. And it's super right. awesome. So we got six boxes, guys. Yes. And since I need a chaser, I'm drinking out of my um, my Rose, Rosen Island um, 
drink, and um, that is diet cranberry juice. <laughs> How we, we roll in this house. We've been out of town a lot, so we haven't been we able haven't to go been, to the grocery yeah. store. We've been to the liquor store, but we haven't oh, been to the grocery store. So, I'll go first. Well, is, is, that, is that how we're going to run it? I um, again, guys, please follow us on Instagram. Like, share, subscribe. Come hang out with us. Have a drink with us. Because, again, every Thursday we're going to be right here on your screens between 4 and 6 p.m. Gizmo wants to join <laughs> for happy hour yes, with Pop see, Drunk. Everybody loves happy hour. <laughs> All right. And I just love Chrono Toys is like packaging is super awesome. Uh, they're just really good at it. Like I said, you're going to get mostly commons. Yeah. Uh. Uh, you look that way. I'm going to look that way because I don't want to know. What do we got? Ah, I see the color. I see it. I see the color. And uh, guess what orange means? Orange means Ed's gonna drink. So here we have Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Um, it's not damaged. It's in perfect condition. We don't have it. We ain't got it. But it's anime. You know, I was so excited, though, at the show. We sold so much anime. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to bring any anime home. And Ed's like, well, we already have a bunch of homes, too. And I was like, I don't care. We didn't bring any anime home. And now it starts to gather again. <laughs> well, because here's the thing. Like, we don't drive large cars. No. And I was really ambitious, and I wanted to take a ton of stuff <laughs> to the show. And, um, yeah, we ran out of room in the car, so. Yeah. All right, so all right, this is what I'm gonna drink. I'll oh, be be not 99. Just don't be 99, and don't be elderflower because as we've established, hashtag elderflower tastes like shit. I forget who I was talking to, but they were like, "That was the funniest thing ever." <laughs> all right, boom. Oh, that's good old UV vodka. My all friend. right, this is old trusty. This is like seventeen year old Ed. Yeah, but UV cherry. vodka. Yeah, but cherry flavor. I don't, know. I don't. I don't. You know, I like my vodka clear. You know. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you're twenty one and up, have a drink with me. Um, it's happy hour, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the sound of his glugging. <laughs> what What is glugging? <laughs> All right, guys. Oh. Yeah? No? It's, it, it's cherry. Is that cherry, right? It is. Is oh. it kind of like um, um, Jaeger-y? Like, no. Well, no. You know, like, it's just like cherry vodka, and it's not good. Yeah. And this damn piccolo. Damn piccolo. <sighs> yeah, and that's another thing you will never see. Drinking Yag on the show. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Yeah, Heather does not drink Yag, and I don't drink tequila. Yeah. And you would think, you know, like Gonzalez, you would think I would drink all the well, tequila. We but we both have very, very long stories yes, of why we don't. That That is 100% accurate. So. Oh, be, be something we have. Be something... I don't want to be damaged. Be our just... guest. Be our guest. I don't know what this is. What is it? It's what? Korg. Well. It's Korg. It's from Marvel. It's from Marvel. And it's Korg. It's beautiful condition. Um, guys, I already took a shot. I have to be extra yeah, on this. Yeah, look at it. It's beautiful condition. And it Ooh, is. It is. And it I don't is. know what a Korg is, but. It's from Marvel. One. And he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt and playing a video game. And Endgame. Still have not seen Endgame. Marvel Endgame. But I will watch it. All right. Get it. It's on my side. Oh, all right. Ah. Guys, I'm already upset. We only have six boxes, and she didn't have to take a shot for one of them. Yeah. And I'll be honest, that was kind of one of the other reasons I was not a fan of uh, the Plastic Empire uh, mystery boxes. Because we have a lot of pops. So the yeah. odds of us getting something that we already have... Is very good, which means we have to take a shot. The Plastic Empire boxes were just yeah. stuff that that nobody had, like That's literally just nobody. Not good TV watching. <laughs> so we didn't take a lot of shots last week, and I apologize, but that's okay because we're gonna take some shots today. Uh, uh, Why are you peeking? 
trying to switch. You should just th- just just. That's it's funny. a good pop. It's a good pop. It's amazing pop. It's it's actually for this being a ten ninety nine mystery box. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good win. Okay. Um, again, oh, by the way, guys, if you've never watched this before, we don't talk about value. Um, there are a million channels out there that do. Uh, we like to collect pops, and we like to collect pops because they're pops, not necessarily for any kind of retail, like, resale. Because we don't do that often, as we discussed earlier. Yeah. So, it's a great pop. <laughs> it's a Comic-Con pop. Oh, yeah. It's a pop that I have owned... No less than probably <laughs> a half a dozen of. Wow, that look that guy looks familiar. <laughs> it is the Baseball Fury uh, blue face paint, blue and black face paint from Toy Tokyo, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Awesome pop. Love it. Have the whole Warrior set so far. Mm-hmm. So how many of those have you up- obtained so far? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I legitimately believe in our possession. Mm-hmm. We have four of them at least. Yeah. Like, uh, I gave one away as a giveaway, and the you, rest because we ran out of room in the right. car. I couldn't take them to the swap. You, you had actually purchased one, right? Oh yeah, I bought. I oh, paid yeah. and the other- <laughs> eighty dollars for the Toy Tokyo bundle to obtain one of these, and uh, I this was the only one I really wanted, and uh, I guess I really wouldn't have to if I remembered. All right. Well, also sporting my booze and pops. Uh, t-shirt, go hit up uh, Sean Ryan's Toys and Games and Pop Couple and uh, Cheap and Nerdy. Uh, they'll give you the link to go buy one of these. Do it. <laughs> that was scary. All right, I'm digging deep. I'm going to the bottom. And I have Noob Noob. And, and Heather has Noob Noob. Noob Noob. And Smirnoff Vodka Caramel. Oh, Caramel. Look. She says it's caramel. It's caramel. And I say it's caramel. This caramel. is a heated debate. If this is your first time watching us here uh, <laughs> on Pop Drunk, uh, heated debate on almost every episode. It's caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> you know, the thing is, though, from all the comments previously, it was pretty down it the was middle. Pretty down the middle. Yeah. And also, though, depending on where they're from, that's true. Where you're from, it's kind of one of those. Absolutely. Mm. Smeared off caramel. <laughs> Bottoms up, guys. 21 and up. Staying at home. Have a drink with me. Yeah. Because it's happy hour and we drink. And you should get you an appetizer, too. We don't have appetizer. <laughs> Woo! Goose pimples. The pimples, oh, they are made of gooses. Oh, it means it was good. Uh, <laughs> doesn't mean it was it good. It was good. If she doesn't have to take a shot on this, guys. I'm calling she, I'm going to make her no, take shots, no. by the way. Hey, that's not the rules. <laughs> we are rule-abiding. Those are house here. rules. You can't film an episode of Pop Drunk without drinking. Those are the But rules. you drink. <laughs> here, you got your damn wish. Oh, I did? What do you got? Ooh. Add icon season, baby. Yeah, yeah. Add icon. Peter Pez. Peter Pez a pick a pick a pick a pepper. <laughs> That's the common Pez uh, with the blue hat. Uh, it's, it's, it's so straight. It's it's, it's it's in great shape. It's not anime. It's not anime. It's not damaged. We got it. Heather taking a shot. I hope it's something good. I hope you grab the Kraken. <laughs> I don't think there's any Kraken in there anymore. I think I drank it all. And I know the feeling... Of a big old bottle of Kraken. Yes, yes, giggity. Ooh, this looks good. This is Smirnoff pineapple. Smear. So here's what we did, guys, because this was getting empty. So on Valentine's Day, we went out to eat, had some drinks, had some food. Heather forgot our take-home boxes on the table. <laughs> he will not leave me alone about this. I'm sorry. I had a little bit. I was focused on other stuff. <laughs> whatever so before you think like we're drinking and driving guys when i tell you we went to the mexican restaurant and then the liquor store my house the liquor store the mexican restaurant like it's perfect we live in a perfect spot um but so we went to the mexican restaurant we ate way too much because they were super busy so we filled up on the 
on the on the chips and salsa that they give you, you know. <laughs> and so much so that I couldn't finish my food, neither could Heather. And uh, we asked for to-go boxes. And then I said, hey, Heather. Hey, Ed. I'm going to go pay. You grab the food. <laughs> Why are you talking about that? <laughs> so I went and paid. We got in the car. Uh, we went to the liquor store. Yeah. And we didn't have any food with us. And you can't go After back. Getting out of the yeah. So, like, oh. but what we did was, was, we went to the liquor store, and they have all the the little bottles and a oh, thing. By, by the you can't yeah. grab them. No. You know, you can't <laughs> grab them. But the person behind the counter can. And this cute little girl, I was just like, darling, do me a favor. Just grab me ten of anything. Real quick, when you say cute little girl, she was of age. Oh, she was of age. She was <laughs> working at a liquor store. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, I said, just grab me 10, and she gave me this weird look, and I said, no, just grab me 10, and then I went and grabbed some of the other ones. No, you said 20. Did I say 20? Yeah, and then I... you picked random ones, too, so we got, yeah. Yeah, so um, so that's how we fill this, and it just so happens that Smirnoff and vodkas make a lot of the bottles, so that's why there's a lot of vodka in here. Heather's got to take her shot of vodka. But there's no Malibu. There's no Malibu. Heather loves her Malibu. I do. I really do. <laughs> We're down to our last two guys. And my shot glasses also stay golden, Golden Girls. And I watch Golden Girls all day today. She did. She did. We're going to break the fourth wall. It's actually Sunday right now. Oh. One of these days, guys. You know, here's the thing. I've done it before. But here's the thing. You did a full shot that wasn't Malibu. I know. I was really drunk that day, though. On an episode of Pop Drunk Fact. that never got aired. Yeah, so it was the episode where I got really drunk, and oh, I went dude. on this rant that the I just... The episode. I, I, I went on a rant, and I don't... It was just way too much negativity, and I don't believe in negativity, and I decided, you know, for, for my peace of mind and everything else, that I just wasn't going to release it. Oh. Um... Just because. Like, I, I don't... We don't need negativity in the Funko Pop world. No. So... No. <laughs> We're down to our final two guys. Um, these are the 1099 boxes. Uh, I yeah. do know for a fact that on Tuesday, well, I, I know for a fact that next Thursday, okay. we will have not only six Chrono Toys mystery boxes, okay. but they also released over the weekend. Uh -oh. High Roller. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> high Roller $30. Oh. No. <laughs> Look, my definition of High Roller is a lot different than that. So, but that's what they called it. Um, they limited us to three, though, so I was Ooh, only able to buy three. Okay. Um, so, it was a $30 with a $60 guaranteed value, or maybe it was $40. With a sixty dollar gear, but we don't talk about value, so we don't care. Yeah. So we've got at least nine boxes oh. next episode. Oh, wonderful! Well, hey, we opened eighteen boxes last episode, <laughs> and we collectively Legit. took like two shots. Dude, I know. So, and big. that's the only reason we were going to be like, we're going to just do these and stuff, and it's like, no, we did nothing. <laughs> Let's just bring them all out. Yeah, like I, I. <sighs> I'm not talking bad about Plastic Empire. That was our first experience yeah. with them, but it was not a good one. Just not our cup of tea. Yeah. Sorry. So. You can not like things. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. It's not okay. Oh, by the way, while we were at Ab Average Joe's, Joe's above, above Average Toy Show. That's what it is. Uh, I got to hang out with one of my good friends. Um, his name is Sean. He's one of the guys behind the vaulted vinyl grading system, the VVGS. I know he's catching a lot of heat right now. I'm not going to tell his story. That's not my place. But I'm going to tell you that the heat they are catching is unwarranted. Uh, I told him he should tell his story. Sean's not really like an like a in-your-face kind of person. Um, but I will continue to purchase and get my pops graded from the VVGS. VVGS. Sounds right. dirty. This is my last pop. I'm not looking. BVGS. Heather's going to peek. I knew it. She already looked at I still like can't see it, though. I don't have it. Uh, well, it's Biggie. 
I know we got a biggie. It's biggie. Are you sure we ain't got biggie? Word up magazine? No. Um, this in the States is a Hot Topic exclusive, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, and... But it has the special edition. Um... By the way, if you guys buy mystery boxes, if you've never bought them before, please understand that you will get a lot of special edition stickers from overseas versus like the common Hot Topic and Target and all that stuff. But it's Biggie. It's Biggie Smalls. Um, Stupid Puff Daddy. <laughs> Heather doesn't like Puff Daddy. I'll be honest, like growing up, I was I was Tupac all the way. Tupac. You were West Side. You were West Side. West Side is the best side. <laughs> I I liked them both. I I lived in Iowa, so I lived <laughs> dead center. Yeah. Of of them both, so yeah. I didn't pick a side. But we were both so gangster, though. Oh, just, I was not gangster. Just you were time. gangster. No, I was gangster. But you still there. You know a lot of of lyrics. To All the right. gangster songs. Like gonna, the 90s. Before you take that out. I'm before you take that out. out. I'm going to tell you. This is our first happy hour. Happy hour. I'm going to tell a story. Uh oh. Okay. So. The Ed you see today. And even the Heather you see today. Are not the two people we were when we were in high school. Absolutely not. Um, The Ed you see today was what was labeled as a goth kid. Mm-hmm. Um, I wore, like, eyeliner and, like, black fingernail polish. And I just like to say, in high school, I didn't even wear makeup. I went the <laughs> opposite. I dressed like a boy. And um, I was very into Marilyn Manson mm-hmm. as a child, uh, as a teenager. I saw Marilyn Manson live as a teenager no less than two dozen times. Minimum two dozen times. Minimum. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I wore a lot of eyeliner. I I, I even wore, like, Gosh. fishnets. And you had big, stupid pants. I had big, stupid Jenko pants and wallet chains. Um, I always like to tell people I look like Marilyn Manson's fat third cousin. <laughs> so that was Ed. Yeah. That was it. So even though I did closetly listen to uh, Biggie and Tupac on the on the outside, I was like Marilyn Manson and Nine Inch Nails and you know yeah. stuff like that. But Heather, yeah, Heather, Heather was a lot of Biggie. I was, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> or Tupac. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was a fat kid. I was a tomboy, and I thought I was super gangster. She had one pant leg up. I used to wear one pant leg up because that's how we rolled. Um, Comment below if you wore one pant leg up. And it was like the squishy, the swishy pants. What are those? Like the, parachute pants. The, like they weren't like like track pants. Yeah, or, yeah, like, like like that, you know. And then boxer shorts, you know, but you could see the top, you know. The, you know, a little bit. Uh, um, so yeah. tell us your awkward phase below. Yeah. Your high school. Because listen, we're all adults here. We're all grown ass adults that collect and play with toys. Uh, give us your awkward phase below. I think it made us the people that we are. I never regret. That's one thing. Do not regret oh, things. No. There may be things in your past you're like, oh, that kind of sucked. But <laughs> it made you who you are today. That's right. That's who you are today. No regrets. Yes, and no regrets. The fact that I'm going to go see the Master P tour in like a week. She's going. I bought her tickets to the No Limit Soldiers and Master P reunion tour. Are they crunk? I'm not what? going. <laughs> her and her friend Nicole are going. Yes. All right, this is our last pop. It's yeah, a grail. Pop. I can see it. I can feel it. And I really, I just hope you have to take a shot. I'm just trying to feel the outside of it. No protector, I'm sure. I could imagine it would be. I don't even know who this is. It is Caradoon. Caradoon. Does that say Star Wars? Yeah. All right. I don't know nothing about Star Wars. It's the Mandalorian. Oh, it's the so it's fairly new. Okay. Okay. And it's beautiful. All right. Well, apparently it's an exclusive to somewhere here in the states. Because it has it has the special edition. So, and it bobbles. Ah! well, it's Star Wars, it has to bobble. You know what, though? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making a judgment call. What are you doing? We cannot go two episodes with like no drinking. We are pop drunk, it is happy hour. <laughs> That's 
the sorry what I think I both, know what yeah yeah what? we we got we got to dig in the bucket oh okay I thought was I thought you were going another route with that where, where do you think I was going the thing to the right the thing to the right what's to the right oh how long is this video so far I I don't know guys. It's only a 35 minute episode. That's not how we do it. It popped drunk. Damn it! <laughs> I effed up. I effed up. She effed up. We don't do 35 minute episodes here on Pop Drunk, guys. And because, if you have watched this you before, guys. you guys want long videos. I will not. I'll be honest. Last week's episode was like 44 minutes and I felt dirty inside. <laughs> so, Chrono Toys. Sorry. Thank you very much. You guys are super awesome. Uh, but our mystery box game is over. And we're replacing it with something that I forgot we even had because it's only been 35 minutes. We have an almost, it's not complete, guys. It's not. Almost a Stranger Things uh, mystery mini uh, set here. Do you want us to open it? We're not live. I can't read the responses. But I'm going to assume you win. Hell yeah! Yay. All right. All right, guys. You're going to get two episodes in one. Mystery box Yay. and mystery minis. Yay. And I'm gonna be completely honest. I forgot that we even had those. I totally forgot. I am not. Because what had happened he was is forgetful. Uh, what, so so we have a total of six, seven, eight, nine. So there's normally twelve in a box. Yes. But there is nine here. And why did we get that? So, uh, a hot topic bias was closing. Uh, not really by us. It was like yes. an hour away. But when I hear. Hot Topic is closing. I'm going to go buy whatever Heck I can yeah. buy. And we not only did we get an stuff. almost full case of that, but that's actually where this Funko sign came from um, that it adorns our wall. That is the uh, the Funko sign that they hang up in Hot Topic. So. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yeah, 35 minutes. We're, yeah, we can't. We're doing this for you guys because we love you. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Uh, Heather doesn't have to go to work tomorrow. No, I don't because um, fourth wall and stuff is tomorrow is a holiday and I work at a Banking place hours. that, you know, it's closed. On I Friday. have to work tomorrow, so I'm glad presidents. it's real early. We love them presidents. So, Stranger Things, ser series two or three, I don't remember, I think, uh, yeah, Hot I don't Topic know. exclusive boxes. Um, we're going to play the same rules, guys, except if you pull... A double, yes. so I'm gonna pull one. Yes. If Heather pulls the same one, yeah. gotta take a shot. Let's get rid of the damn box. Oh, I gotta get rid of the box. But there's gonna be an uneven number. Well, <laughs> All right, you have to take one more. Oh no! Wait a minute, I got four. You got four. I you got, got five. Because I had to take an extra shot. All right, I'm going first. Uh, comment below what is if well a if you've seen Stranger Things which everybody has there's not a person the majority of people I have not watched the series four trailer yet though no but I heard it was so good yeah I haven't watched uh, it yet. let us know what your favorite season was I love them all I know uh, I love I them know, all man. No, I don't... it's series three not series two yeah um oh I loved all Stranger season Things season three was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. Because they're in a mall. Like, yeah. I love the mall. The mall is dying, yeah. and it makes me sad. All right. Obviously, I don't have to take a shot, because... We have none. We none have of none these. of these. I kind of hope we get Dustin's, because since I make shadow boxes, I make Stranger Things shadow boxes, and I ran out of Dustin's. <laughs> hey, if you guys have the original... Uh, Stranger Things yes. mystery boxes, just the little uh, mystery minis, and you have any Dustins you don't want, let me know. I'll pay for them. But Heather makes these shadow boxes she sells on Etsy, so we're out of Dustins. So and look, eBay, real life, they're charging way too much for a mystery mini. So just let us know. Yes. Maybe I'll trade you some pops or something. Right. All right. So first one, <laughs> it's Dustin. Yeah, Dustin. <laughs> but this is the um, the camp Dustin. He looks uh, so. Their faces look so stupid. <laughs> stupid faces. Stupid faces. See, I don't remember what context I was in, but I know they love me saying stupid faces. I don't know. Sadly, this is 
things that I say in real life all the time. <laughs> that Dustin is a one in twelve, guys. What? Dustin's a one in Usually twelve. Usually he's like a one in six. Yeah. So here's what I need you to do. What I need. The hell is that? Um, that's oh. it's one of the moms. It's oh, been a while since I've it's watched it. One of it. the cougars. Yeah, one of the cougars. The cougars yeah. at the pool. All right. Yeah. I need her to take a shot. Let's hope she pulls another Dustin. Thank you guys for tuning in. We love each and every one yes. of you. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't eaten anything today, so there's three shots I've taken. Mm -mm. They're 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 getting there. Yeah. <laughs> and you I have got eleven. We got eleven. Got 11. Mm. All right, eleven is a. Which 11 is that? Let me see it. Which is the, the cool... Oh, it's the cool one. The cool. Oh, that's a 1 in 12 exclusive. Oh. That one's a Hot Topic exclusive. Hey! All right. Oh, yeah, we gotta get the Power Ranger. Heather loves Power Rangers, and I can't remember the kid's name now in Stranger know, Things. But he was Jason in the new Power Rangers Power Ranger movie. movies. And he is very attractive, and he's young. He's like 21 or 22. It's legal. Isn't he like, foreign? Yes, he's, he's foreign. like Australian. Yeah. All right, comment below um, if you like. Well, no, Eric said that. That's cheesy. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be that guy. Boom. Hopper. 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 We still have never seen Hellboy. No, nobody watched Hellboy, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but Hopper was... was yeah, no, 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 nobody watched it. Oh, <laughs> well, shit. All right, so I'm going to let her open this one, and then we're going to take a collective shot just based on principle. Have to. Have to. And now you're on film, so if you don't do it, you look like a loser. Yes. Yes, that's <laughs> how we decide who the loser is or not. Uh, Lucas! Is Lucas in his little shorts? <laughs> All right, so I have two left. Hey, buddy. You have three left. Hey, buddy. Lucas won't stand. No, where's his? Where's his? Where's he? Max. No, Lucas. There's, there's his sister. Yes. Oh, he's one in twenty-four. Oh, what? Lucas is one in twenty-four. So what? that's cool. Um, Lucas, that's cool. stand up. I got it. All right. I'm sorry, I'm a child. It's hilarious. All right, grab your bottle. Don't look at it. This is our... Oh, our, this is horrible. I said don't look at it, and then she looked at oh, it. Oh, well, I already took it out. <laughs> All right, what do I... I have Rosé's Vedka oh, Vodka. I really want to try that. You want to switch me? What do you got? What do you got? New Amsterdam gin. Guys, do I switch her? Because she's like a Rosé. Do I? Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you drink it, you'll be... Made fun of. Wow, I can't be made fun of. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's how this marriage works. All right, guys. So oh, this oh. one's for you, even though oh, we yeah. haven't had any rules that said we have to Can do open it. This? Let the me rose drink it for you, too. Sorry, my hands are all lotiony. <laughs> Girl problems. Giggity. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Although I got yelled at, guys. I got yelled at in a previous video in the comments oh. because we were talking about 10 inch pops and I said something about I need to get that 10 inch or something yeah. like that. And somebody commented, How did you not giggity that? And also, somebody said that every time that we say giggity, we should take a shot. No. We have like dirty minds and no. Yeah. All right. You ready for your rose? It's so and your new Amsterdam Thanks. to all of you. Thank you very much. We love you so much. Yes, we do. They're not your cat. You don't have to talk to them like that. Oh, but I love <laughs> my cats so much. That means I love them. <laughs> Bottoms up, guys. <laughs> How did I go to Popeye to Tigger with that shot? That was whoo. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know, I, I don't know anybody in my age group that really likes gin. My mother likes gin. Her friend, person. Nicole, no, like, likes gin. My, my, my gangster friend that's going to Master P with me, she likes the gin. That's because Snoop Dogg had that gin and juice song. Is that, is that what it is? All right. So I got Hopper. You got to pull next. And that'll make us even. No, and then I got Lucas. But you didn't. Ah, uh, whatever. But you have one I'll more. do it. Thank you guys for checking us Thank out. Thank you. Uh, 
Where should they check us out at in the future? In the future, not only can you follow us at pop underscore drunk underscore, but if you are a pro wrestling fan, please check out the Squared Circle Expo on Facebook, which is also squaredcirclex.com. We are running a huge pro wrestling convention in Indianapolis, Indiana on May 29th and May 30th with stars such as Rey Mysterio, Kane, Cowboy Bob Orton Jr., Ted DiBiase, Sammy Guevara, Billy Gunn, Billy Gunn Gangrel, Gangrel, Darby Allin, Shark Boy, um, God, there's the there's, Highlanders, the Highlanders, and so many more. Um, so check out SquaredCircleX.com or find Squared Circle Expo on Facebook. If you buy a ticket and you come to the show, pull me aside. We'll have a drink together. Whoa, I want a drink too. <laughs> and Heather wants to drink with you as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, you got Steve. I got Steve. We're doing it all. Don't focus. Yeah. Uh, ice cream cone, Steve. It's so cute. What is Steve? Steve's a one in twelve. All right. So we haven't got any one in sixes. Well, I need some duplicate ones because only the duplicate ones that I use for my craft. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it's early, guys. I gotta work tomorrow. But it's happy hour, so we don't think about work at happy hour. <sighs> hey, you wanted to drink more, my friend. Dustin! No. Hopper. Oh. Hopper! Uh, I was wrong. Hopper is a one in six. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, Unlike the last time, Hopper was like, Hard as shit to get. <laughs> um, I love Hopper because he's in his like Miami Vi or Magnum PI. He's in his Magnum PI outfit. Yeah. Bam. Ooh. Big House. Big House Blueberry. Blackberry actually. Blackberry, Blackberry oh, whiskey wow. from Big House. Big House. Oh. You not go to the Big House. Don't go to the Big House. Us. I've been there. It ain't fun. <laughs> yeah, let's not tell that story. <laughs> We got time for that. That's all right, because all we care about is booze and pops now. Woo! Speaking of booze and pops, check out booze and pops on YouTube every Saturday night. Sometimes I show up. Sometimes I'm drunk. Yeah. And if you want a good laugh, you should also watch Rick and Morty. Woo! Noob noob. Noob noob. And also, so we've been to two Walmarts looking for them stupid Pickle Rick Pringles. Let me know if you found them. Yeah, Pickle Rick. Dill flavored Pringles. Blackberry is foul. Not friends. Whoa. Ooh. Elderberry. You don't like the berries. The elderberry? No, it was elder flower. Oh, it wasn't oh. even the elderberry. Oh. It was the bastard flower that the so berry grew angry. on. So oh. <laughs> I hope it's head. a hopper. It has a big head. It's got a big head. Ha. Giggity. Ha. Giggity. <laughs> ha ha. This hair. Is that. Well, who's the other. Yeah, that's Will. That's Will. Will! Will or Mike, they look the same. No, that's Mike. Is that Mike? Will, Will was the one on the flip side. Yeah, it's called the upside down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind the of their same. thing. <laughs> Shut your face. With my luck, this is another hopper. Good! That's what you get. All right, guys. And also, we love stickers. If you have sent, if you have stickers, you should tell. We have stickers them. now. We have stickers. So if you get anything from us, you're getting a sticker. You're welcome. Let me look at the back of your box. Ha! Giggity. <laughs> How do you have the back of it? Would that be the butt? <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to feel it. Giggity. <laughs> Everybody take shots right now. Ah! I think this is. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure this is the Power Ranger. <gasps> I think it's the Power Ranger. I don't know what his real name is. I don't either, and I don't even remember his name on the show. It's not Steve. It's. It's not Steve. Steve. No, I know. You know, though. And I was right. That guy. That guy who ends up becoming the heel. Like, he becomes the monster. What the hell is it? Because it's Max's brother. It is Max's brother, yes. 
Hold on. I, he <laughs> was a, he still in my he's before. a 1 in 12 exclusive. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so, taking him. Heather's taking him, apparently. Giggity. All right, guys. Hey, the Nets. She gave me this judgy look. <laughs> it's so funny, though, because it's like so many people. Like, our past videos, the ones that we do, like, mystery, like... The little people don't watch no. mystery mini videos. They just don't. I, I love these stupid things. She loves it, but like, and again, I'm not like a monetization views whatever guy. But if you literally look like any of the ones that are like, hey, we opened two cases of mystery, nobody watches them. Mm -hmm. Nobody watches them, and that's fine. We have fun opening them. You don't have to watch them, but it's just weird to me because I think mystery minis does are it, awesome. Does anybody do um, mystery boxes of Dorbs anymore? I know yeah. that they nobody try does it. Dorbs, honey. Nobody does door. You do dorbs. <laughs> I do. I really do. I love my dorbs. <laughs> anyway. Um, but we do have cases. We have. Oh yeah. Of six the or seven. Of the... <laughs> if you didn't know what two 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 was, we have six or seven cases of the Funko Pop soda on our way. Pop. So we're gonna we're gonna open those as well. Oh. It's eleven. Now hold on, oh, it's a different eleven. It is, it's different. But it's still eleven. She has blood on those shot. You know what? No, you're gonna take a then take a shot with me. Like I'm gonna turn that there you down. Go. See, then I at least kind of feel like I win. All but, right, you know, all right. Yeah. I'll take a shot with you because even right. though it's not the same. No, but what is that? What the hell is? It's a one in six. Oh. <laughs> hey, we got all. We got all these. Yeah, so really we shouldn't. Comment shot. below if you collect mystery minis and if you want to watch more mystery mini videos. Because right. I love buying them by the case and yeah. like, yeah. All right, I have one in my hand. I don't know what it is. Quick question: Do they still make pint-sized heroes? I don't think so. Because that's also like, you know, just a little. Heather loved pint-sized heroes. I have all the Power Rangers. So we had a. I had actually had a conversation about this. Heather's going to grab some booze. Um, at the uh, at the pop swap we were at. And my conversation was, I truly believe that, and I could be wrong. Look, I've been wrong once or twice in my 40 years on this planet. Um, I believe that Funko Soda will be huge. If you look at other Funko products that have been released, like Dorbs, mm -hmm. um, like Blocks, mm -hmm. uh, Mystery Minis. Blocks. Mystery Minis is a different area, though, because I think these are very popular. Yeah. Um, but or like uh, Cereal yeah. and Vinyl and just so many of these other products, none of them really caught on like like a pop would catch on. Yeah, I think the cereal did pretty good because a lot cereal of... Cereal did not do good. People are very angry about the cereal. Well, because the cereal is really expensive and people and are just like, gross. why is I've never it, ate it, though. Why is it $15 for Golden Girls cereal? <laughs> so, but I do believe that soda, because I think they're doing what people want. They're all limited. They all have chases. Um, and I saw it, one in yeah. person the other day. They're very well made. Yes. They're very well made. They're and right. I have six or seven cases on the way. So. And they're stackable. We like stackable. stackable. Yeah. And isn't there like a little coin? There's a isn't coin that tells you if you got a chase or not. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. All right. I don't know what I've got. Oh, well, I know what I got. What do you got? I got Evan Williams Cherry. And this That's is... That's actually good. I've had that. Kentucky one. Bourbon. We're Kentucky. in Kentucky. She's got the bourbon. Lucas fell down. Lucas disagrees. And I have... Oh, that is clear. Till... Wheat. American wheat. Can I pick a different booze? No. Oh. We usually do vetoes. No. No, you have to do it. You have to do it. Oh. All right. Well, guys. Oh, for... yeah. I was going to tell you you didn't have to, but then you took the lid off. Oh, I took the lid off. Once the seal is broken, that's that just is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say giggity, but not really. That's like a, yeah, a yeah. bathroom thing. So, But, uh, guys, thank you for joining us for our first happy hour. Uh, every Thursday, between 4 and 6, I cannot commit to time. I could commit to a day, but I cannot commit to yeah. a time. We're um, going to try. We're getting better. Between getting... 4 and yeah. 6, on Thirsty Thursdays, you're going to see a new episode of Pop Drunk. Um, the thing was, the reason we're doing this is because... I would always, we would always film an episode on Friday or Saturday night. Yep. 
we would get really drunk Friday and Saturday night. Yep. And trying to edit with one eye open and to get it, it just, it was not convenient. Yeah. Um, so I figured That's we could nice. drink on the weekends, we can get it up by the middle of the week, and then drink again. So Thursdays, pop drunk happy hour, hashtag happy hour. Um, yeah. If you're going to like, if you like the new schedule, let us know. Um, I want your input. Because we do this for you. We do. Really, we do it for me. Because I like pops and I like booze. Yeah. I mean, because I, I can drink wine by myself if I need to. <laughs> All right, guys. Clink. That, yeah. would be, that would be good with cherry coke. Oh, that would not be good with anything. American wheat vodka. When did they start making vodka out of wheat? What happened to good old fashioned potatoes? I'm not good. All right, guys. So, let's see if Lucas will stand up. Uh oh. No, he will not. So, guys, thank you for tuning in with us. On our first happy hour episode ah! of Pop Drunk. But I also want you to understand that this does not mean that there will not be random episodes yes. that might show up on the weekends. But I can tell you that every Thursday between 4 and 6 p.m. Eastern. You're going to get stuck with us. You're going to get stuck with us, right? So uh, I'm going to pull a couple of these pops over um, just, to, just to show them what we ended up with today. Wababashka! All right, so we ended up with a Baseball Fury. Baseball Fury. Piccolo. Stupid anime. Milton. That's right, it's a pop dog. What? The Gnome. Gnome. Peter Pez. Peter Pez. What was that guy's Korg. name? Korg. Korg and something from Star Wars. Some, some broad from the Cara Dune from the Mandalorian. <laughs> All right, guys, so comment below. Give us a, Give us something to talk about. Uh, follow us on Instagram at talk about pop under, underscore drunk underscore. Follow us on Twitter at pop underscore pop pop, pop. under. See you. You got to do the thing. What what on Twitter? Twitterer pop underscore drunk underscore. And um, like, share, subscribe, guys. Um, comment below. Liking is brilliant for me. Yes. I love it. Um, this isn't about likes and shares and subscribes. I do it because I want to interact. Heather wants to interact. We want to have conversations with you. We, we like want to have, have a good, good time. time. That's right. So, um, thank you all for coming out. God bless you. Good night. We'll see you next Thursday. <laughs> Nobody wants me to blow them a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you. You're all awesome. Thank you. Deuces. <laughs>